Welcome back to the show. As you know, a lot of art festivals, art expos, art fairs are coming back. Uh, it's it's such an exciting time, honestly. When when spring begins here in the city of Ottawa, all of a sudden everybody starts coming out and creating these wonderful opportunities for us to go and meet some of our local artists and artisans. And our next guest has done just that with many different opportunities. I am joined by Andrea Elena. She's the organizer of the Wall Candy Art Expos and Events. Welcome back. Great to have you here, Andrea. Thank you, Derek. It's great to be here. Um, let's first of all talk about, for those that aren't familiar with, you know, the, your beginnings and inspiration behind Wall Candy. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so Wall Candy was started in 2018 by um, a local artist called Christina Lovisa, and I was fortunate to meet her in 2019 and uh, work with her in doing another event, and then the pandemic happened, so we've mm -hmm. been uh, gauging ever since. Uh, so it's artist run. I have now taken the lead, and... Again, we're lucky to have several uh, volunteer artists that help us organize. Nice. Um, even the growth between 2018 and 2019 was pretty amazing, wasn't it? Yeah, there was a big change. So we were in the horticulture building, or I should say they were. I wasn't with them yet, but uh, they were in the horticulture building in 2018. Um, I think there was about 60-some artists, and then in 2019, it was moved to the Aberdeen Pavilion with 140. Are you an artist yourself? Why I did am. you want to get involved? Tell, tell me about your background yeah, as an so, artist. Yeah, uh, so I actually met Christina Luvisa, the, uh, the founder of Wall Candy, through an artist collective that she had started Started called Hello Art Studios right. um, and I had decided to join because I was doing watercolors this is actually one of the uh, watercolors that I I was doing at the time and was looking for a you know, a community of artists. Right, and just fell in love with it, right? Absolutely. Uh, and you've you've got the uh, sweet, sweetly affordable, sorry, sweetly affordable art fair coming up. Tell me, tell me about that because this is an. I mean, you've gathered a lot of. It's always surprises me how many people get involved in these. Um, tell me what you have planned. Uh, so the sweetly affordable art fair, again, another brainchild of the very creative Christina, uh, is. The concept is that it's affordable and accessible for the artists and for the participants. Okay. Um, so for the ar artists and artisans and the visitors. And we are encouraging all of our uh, exhibitors to have items under $50. Okay. And if they are bringing bigger pieces, to try and keep them under $1,000. So from an attendee's perspective, you'll have plenty to choose from at an affordable price point. What sort of mediums will we will we see? Uh, so we have some examples here. We have uh, a variety of mediums. Uh, so this is an example of my own work. It's watercolor, but uh, we also have watercolor by Colleen Gray. This is on um, Yupo paper. These are little cards, actually, but she does her work oh, on Yupo okay. paper, so it's a bit different. Yeah. Uh, and then we have... Uh, yeah, this it's, is cool. this is a, Yeah, this is by Cora. Beatty, so he does acrylic paintings and then he resins them and so this is an example of a print that he has done of one of his larger pieces I love the colors isn't I mean, that amazing yeah, yeah that's incredibly vibrant really spectacular work and then there at the end uh, that's by Judith Anderson so she's one of the artists that also helps us and um, so that's mixed media and you'll see a right. lot of mixed media pieces as well I have a little mini Christina Louise I have bigger ones at home and I didn't want to bring the big ones uh, so this is like, we <laughs> have we have one of hers at, at our, our home as well yeah, yeah, Christina she's used to come on the show she's and so actually good. do some demos for us on yeah. on daytime yeah another wonderful artist yeah she's brilliant and so this is just a little Cute. sample of Christina so that's mixed media and encaustic so encaustic is beeswax uh, and tree resin so oh it's, that's what yeah. that okay so Very she does a lot cool. of mixed media with uh, encaustic uh, this is an example of collage work by uh, Dulce Tap so she's a Mexican artist and I brought some of her pieces last time so you nice. might see that in one of the previous videos and this little beautiful glass jar here uh, is hand painted um, by an artisan and it's uh, her handle is just a thought nice um, this is at a great location too you have to describe that because you're doing it um, in conjunction with another fantastic event that's going on right that's right yeah so we were lucky enough uh, to be co-occurring with the Ottawa Dressage Festival. So they have been running their event for 20 years. Uh, this, I believe, is their, actually their 20th year. Um, and Westy Clover Park proposed that maybe we could have our events co-occurring, and both parties were delighted at this <laughs> prospect. So it's going to be a really rich experience for people who come out to visit us, uh, because you can also go see horse, like horse shows, and they're called freestyle. So okay. the horses basically dance to music. It's a very choreographed thing. It's amazing thing. to yeah. watch. Oh, yeah. I mean, if, if, no, if people haven't 
haven't seen sort of equestrian like this before. It, it's yeah. pretty special. And it's a win-win, right? Because I guess you're you're sort of getting, you know, people that are are, are interested in, in coming to see the equestrian event and vice versa, right? People are coming to see the art. So this is a, a perfect uh, That's right. a perfect sort of marriage for for this event, right? Yeah. Yeah, it works out really well. Um, and I think, like I said, anyone who's interested in horses and also art is going to have a really good bang for their buck. And it's actually free admission, so even better. Uh, uh, will the artisans all be there, like in, in person for the most part? Uh, yeah, all the artists and artisans each will have their own booth. Really? Yeah, so you'll be able to, you know, meet the artists and the artisans. So, you know, and that's great too, right? Because you get to ask questions, find out a little bit about the artists themselves right. and, and the inspiration behind it. Um, and I know an another big part of this is you wanted to help support women, local businesses, local artisans. Tell me about the importance of that and, and why you wanted to do that. Well, I love collaborating with other small businesses in Ottawa and I've been very fortunate to be able to collaborate with uh, women-owned businesses. So um, we have a few sponsors this year that are uh, from organizations that are run by women, like Excellent. Ottawa Artisans, Square Lemon, um, Anna Ode Photography. She provided the uh, f the photos and some of the video that we use to promote the event, and um, uh, Queen Bee Millinery. So she has the she designed the hats that are in the photos oh, for our promo. <laughs> uh, you also have your Breaking Barriers program, and I know two artists from that program will be there as well. This is pretty special. Yeah. Uh, so the Breaking Barriers program, it's you know still in flux, but basically we initiated it the first time that we were at Wesley Clover Park, um, and we had uh, some sponsors help us out to provide uh, gratis booths to artists who may be in financial need, but uh, who are also part of either the BIPOC LGBTQ plus 2IA community or persons with disability. Um, so uh, an example of someone who's been sponsored this time by me um, is uh, Colleen Gray. So she's a Métis artist and she does a lot of work for her uh, charity Art for Aid, which sends um, art supplies to, gonna hold that yes, up the please. camera to describe it, yeah. <laughs> it, it's, uh, she sends art supplies to youth, indigenous youth, and northern remote communities. Amazing. Remind everybody uh, when it's happening and, and the time. Yeah, so it's taking place, the Sweetly Affordable Art Show is taking place May 20th and 21st, which is the Victoria Day long weekend. Uh, Saturday is 10 to 6, Sunday is 10 to 4, and it's at Wesley Clover Parks, located Excellent. at 401 Corkstown Road. Thanks so much, Andrea. We'll be right back after this. Don't go anywhere.